What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Megan Rose. And as you can see by the title, today we're going to be talking about how I built up my self-esteem. And I'm not even going to say rebuilt my self-esteem, because y'all, I, I, I don't think I had self-esteem before. So the first thing I had to acknowledge is that my life wasn't going right due to me having low self-esteem. Because I had low self-esteem, I was treating myself wrong. I let tr people treat me wrong. And my life was just a repetitive cycle of things going wrong for me because of how I felt about myself. So what I did was first, I had to go to the doctor because I felt like my serotonin, dopamine, whatever chemical that you need in your body to make you feel happy or joy. I feel like mine was at a flat line zero. Like I was in a severe, severe depression, like, major major anxiety like it was real bad i felt like i literally hit my rock bottom don't hit your rock bottom before you seek help but anyways i went to my doctor and i let them know like i'm i'm like <laughs> i ain't feeling this sis, okay i ain't gonna tell you how i'm really feeling all the way because it was like that bad y'all my emotional state was so bad at that time honestly i didn't even tell her how bad i was feeling i just told her like i need help giving her the gist of what was going on but i was scared like i my emotional state at that time was so bad i was almost afraid to tell her how bad i was feeling to be honest that's how low it was so i went to the doctor and um she subscribed me lexapro um which is my girl i f will lexapro a long way and i also take another um anxiety medicine um which is buspar um also known as buspirone over a few weeks i started notice it was helping my like energy i was i wasn't feeling as stuck as i was feeling anymore which was great um so but i also still had a problem i was a drunk <laughs> at this time no seriously i was actually self-medicating before i started taking medicine i started self-medicating with liquor okay self-medicating with liquor is crazy but i started self-medicating with liquor so now i had this issue where i felt like i needed to stop drinking which i felt like because of the medicine it really helped me gain the confidence myself to stop drinking as much so i eventually started to slow down drinking and um i'm skipping a lot of parts in this because i just want to focus on the fact of what helped me regain my self-esteem this was a crazy crazy time in my life so so much stuff happened in between that time but i just want to focus on what helped me gain my self-esteem i did just that and i eventually stopped drinking as much i had the confidence in myself to stop drinking as much and i also started working out which was a big big help for me i felt like me working out and putting myself like on a routine and seeing my body slowly transform that was definitely a confidence boost that i needed that really helped me gain my self-esteem um i was overweight oh like i listen when i tell you at that time i was so out of whack with everything like my weight was I was 40 pounds heavier, literally, and I was a drunk, and my self-esteem was low. I was I was in a relationship with a crazy cheater, okay? I was in a relationship with a serial cheater, and I just got out of a relationship, um, out of a bad domestic violence relationship, so I felt like I was just all over the place emotionally. And um, so, like I was saying, I eventually stopped drinking. I started working out. I started watching my body transform. Also, me setting goals for myself and actually achieving them was a real confidence boost because I could trust myself. You being able to trust yourself is a big thing on how you feel about yourself, which is obviously your self-esteem. If you're constantly setting out goals and telling, saying that you're going to do something, then you don't do it or you, you know, you keep putting things off that you're supposed to be doing for yourself, that's going to make you lose trust with yourself and you losing trust with yourself will definitely definitely lose self-esteem because you don't even trust yourself you don't even trust what you say what you think you don't even trust yourself to do what's best for you that is ridiculous like if you really think about that of course that's going to have your self-esteem shot so i started to um make goals achieve them and that was really 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 helping me now i'm at the point where i'm drinking way less i'm taking my medicine and i'm working out okay so once I started doing that, I start, it just started opening my mind to so many things now because now I'm entertaining myself with different things. I'm trying to feed my mind. I'm trying to keep myself healthy. Now I'm taking my like mental health off. This is my smoothie, y'all. I made this this morning. We love a mommy that could save money on breakfast, okay? And my big interest was just feeding my mind. And then I started getting so interested in the mind and then like my emotions and my feelings and stuff like that to that point that I started venturing off to like spirituality and aligning my chakras. And um, 
like my I, everything just started expanding like beyond that I can even think of because I never even thought I would even know anything about chakras never mind trying to align mine up okay and um that just felt good I felt like the more that I was feeding my mind the more that I was feeding like nurturing my body not feeding my body okay I had to slow down on feeding my body the more that I was nurturing my body was just the more that I felt um disconfident in myself just I feel like it's so beautiful and divine how you can literally go from down in the dumps, overweight, like not feeling your best, not feeling attractive, not feeling like you're even worthy of anything to to this place where you feel like you just want to constantly feed your mind and your body and your soul like and it really starts with your it really starts with your mind it really starts with your perspective it really starts with how you feel about yourself and once you start feeling better about yourself a lot of things around you start changing because all that started changing i even started having confidence to leave my relationship my relationship was definitely something that was knocking down my self-esteem because like i said i was with someone that was serial cheating being with a cheater, you start to feel like you're not worthy. You start to feel like someone's better than you. You start to feel all these things when when ultimately someone cheating on you has more to do with them than you. I feel like you dealing with the cheater says a lot about you. You know what I'm saying? You still dealing with them, giving them access to you, having sex with them, stuff like that. That says a lot about you. But someone, the act of someone cheating on you, it doesn't say anything about you. It really doesn't. And, um, but for me, I started internalizing it, feeling like I wasn't worthy and stuff like that. And it just, it piggybacked on me having low self-esteem. And eventually when I started, um, you know, taking my medicine, working out, uh, getting into spirituality and stuff like that, I just started saying, you know what, F him. I can do better than that. And I really gained the confidence to say F him and do better than that. And um, that was a big, huge leap for me because I was almost, my self-esteem was so low. I was so scared at first to even be alone, to even be by myself. I didn't even want to have to, I didn't even want to hear my own thoughts. Like I literally would have chosen to be with someone that's not treating me right than to be with myself, which was, okay, mind blowing. Like you'd rather be with someone that doesn't treat you right than be with, than be alone. And this all literally started, y'all, once I started changing the way I think about myself. Once I started to, like, have confidence in myself, I just started removing things and gaining what I needed and removing the bullshit, like, literally. And I felt like now that my confidence um, has grown so much and I have I have so much self-esteem now I feel like now my aura and my energy and just my vibrations repel a lot of BS that I felt like what I was magnetic to when I was low on myself like now I don't really run into that many like you know ain't shit people like that was my thing i felt like people were not trustworthy i felt like you cannot trust people i felt like everybody was just ain't shit like literally just put it just put it like that that's really what i felt now there's good and bad people of course and you know um but i feel like i don't really run into people that um ain't shit that much even though i know they're out there <laughs> i know they're somewhere around and i feel like because my mind isn't centered um on what's wrong with the world on oh people ain't shit oh i look like this or my body looks like that or i'm judging this or i'm judging that no i'm looking at things with a better perspective and especially when you start looking inward and you start really making progress when you look inward to yourself and you start making progress that is such a confidence boost because you know that you don't need anyone all you need is a strong mind all you need is to control yourself emotionally other than that that's all you need. You get what I'm saying? Everything else will start falling into place and aligning. You must definitely have to look inward. You can't look for any type of validation from anyone because if you do, you're gonna be pissed off because they're not, something's not gonna click right because it's, it's, it's your self-esteem, right? You have to feel it and to challenge yourself and do things that you wanna do but that you didn't have the courage to do and just slowly start taking steps to just changing your life like literally it's not going to change if you keep doing this if you keep thinking the same things and you keep doing the same thing of course your life is going to stay the same so decide to do something different decide to do better you have to decide to do better every single day and this has to be continuous routine because you continuously got yourself in a routine to have low self-esteem you continuously ate till you got big or you continuously did things that you weren't proud of that 
plummeted your self-esteem you did things over day by day you continuously did things so understand to understand to undo all that you have to definitely take time don't think this is gonna there's no like timeline of how long it takes or anything like that it depends on you it depends on how deep it is it depends on a lot of things me i was i was in it real deep and i just i'm just so proud of myself to get to the point where i feel like i can motivate people to raise their vibrations and you know build their self-esteem and it really starts with you you can't look out where you can't look to anyone to build your, how you feel about yourself and like i said i know it's hard especially when you're so low and you got deep into it but it takes every single day the, and one thing that I had to think about when I started to change and when things were hard and I didn't feel like doing things sometimes, that every day, the day is going to end, okay? And the time is going to keep going by and going by. What are you going to be doing with your time? Are you going to continuously be unhappy and feel like your self-esteem is low and feel like you could be doing better or I shouldn't be dealing with this or dealing with that? Or are you going to take every day doing something uncomfortable, which is going to ultimately, like, rebuild your life that's going to ultimately give you a great life give yourself grace be kind to yourself and challenge yourself every single day to do something that you didn't have the courage to do work on your body work on um you know how you nurture yourself how you feed your soul because everything is different for everyone everything is depending on your circumstances and work on every day how you nurture and feed your soul um, everything varies between people and you know what you got going on make sure you set time for yourself that was another thing that i didn't have any boundaries on that's another thing set boundaries and you have to set boundaries with everything with time with everything i have to set boundaries on just having time for myself kids give me a second you know what i'm saying everyone give me a second i need time for myself and don't feel guilty for doing things for yourself do never feel guilty for doing anything for yourself like having boundaries and setting time for yourself is another way to definitely gain your self-esteem because everyone needs time for yourself i don't care if you have a hundred kids you still are your own person you still are even though it's like kind of hard with all them damn kids now but you know it is what it is even if you have a whole bunch of kids you are still your own person you still deserve to have your own life you are still your own individual so most definitely take time for yourself i personally have three kids at that point for me that was a whole lot of kids especially because my baby was small and she was very very hands-on and i just felt like y'all it was just so much going on but you can do it it can literally get done it's up to you to set these lines set these boundaries everything is up to you and not allow people to control your life control you because it's your life you need to be the main character of your own life that's one thing you cannot forget be the main character of your own life do not allow people to have a bigger role in your life than yourself. Use your mind for yourself. And the more you build your self-esteem, the easier it will be to love yourself. The easier it will be to set boundaries. The, the more you go every single day, the more you try, it's going to become easier, y'all. And I'm telling you, after a while, it's like your aura, your vibe, your energy, just the, the what you exude will literally repel bullshit from you. Yeah, there's gonna be people that slip through the cracks and that's not meant for you, but you're not gonna be magnetic to that anymore. You're gonna be magnetic to how you feel. You're gonna be magnetic to beauty. You're gonna be magnetic to change. You're gonna be magnetic to new beginnings. You're gonna be magnetic to like-minded people. You're gonna be magnetic to what's for you. You're gonna be magnetic to what you want. So definitely just do self-confidence out exercises. Drink water, like some things sound just like the basic things that you do but some some th basic things are so essential to how you feel about yourself so you know literally eat right drink eat right drink your water mind your business and focus on yourself be the main character of your own story because you are you don't need to be in the background of your own story love i would definitely say that's how i built my um my self-esteem i'm at a park right now and it's a little busy so i hope i got to the main point if you have any questions or anything or if i wasn't clear about something just please just drop it up drop it in the comments because i am at the park and it's starting to like fill up I hope i stayed on topic the best way for you to understand like i said if you have any questions or if i wasn't clear about something please just drop in the comments y'all because we growing and glowing y'all we're not going to be out here stressed out looking crazy we're building our self-esteem building our confidence looking good feeling good 
and living better, attracting what's meant for us, wanting what we want to want us back, baby, okay? So hope this helps. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.